Hey fam, welcome to another video. We just had one of the most significant news releases we've had for Axie Infinity in a very long time. You can finally burn Axies. They have put a system in Axie Infinity for releasing Axies, or some people would call this a Axie Sync or an Axie Burn. So I wanna show you the news, let's talk about it, and super excited for this one. And if you're new to Axie Infinity or cryptocurrency, check out the affiliate links down in the description. Binance is basically essential for Axie Infinity if you have access to it in your country. Otherwise, I have some other great links also. Okay, so this news is coming from the Substack. I'll put a link down in the description as well. And essentially what you need to know is you can release Axies and get items in return. Now, what are these items? Basically, there's these five items here and these are the percentage chance. So you release one Axie and you're guaranteed one of these five items and these are the percentage. So obviously the Crimson Tiger is the rarest and will be worth the most money. And then as a bonus, you get entered into a raffle for each Axie you release. And that puts you in a raffle at the end of 30 days to get one of these prizes here, right? Which is a, basically an Epic or Mystic Land item and five AOC tokens. And AOC tokens allow you to get an Origin Axie. We'll talk more about those in a second. In case you guys missed it, there was also a cool piece of news about the Axie Builders program, but we're not gonna talk about that, but you can check this out as well, because this is also just 16 hours ago they put out this news too, which is pretty cool. And then if you hop over to the marketplace, there's also this express tab here for the train and this cute little ticket, and there's a releasing stat. Already we've released 23,000 Axies, which is cool. And you can see that that's from 9,000 people. And then there's a leaderboard showing what the most released is. So, you know, you can see people pumping their own name here, which is great. And then you have your own stats down at the bottom. Now you guys can go here, check this out. You can also just click release an Axie. It'll let you log in. And then it's quite easy to release your first Axie. What is this gonna do for the economy? Well, I think the most important thing, the first thing it's gonna do is the supply of axes is no longer just unlimited without ever shrinking, right? We actually have a way to decrease the supply of axes now rather than just always increasing, increasing, increasing. Cause if you go ahead and look, we're already over 11 million axes. So this could decrease this number or it might just slow down the rate at which this number increases, right? Depends how many people breed this. All this comes down to is how exciting are these items for you guys? <laughs> the more people want these items, the more they're gonna burn their axes to create these, which is gonna increase other things as well. I think the most immediate effect we're gonna see on this is it's gonna increase the price of floor axes, right? And we've already seen that since this was released two hours ago, these prices have gone up from 0 0.015, 0 0.014 to about 0 0.018. So they were around $45 right when this news came out and now we're up to $57. And I think this should increase the price of all the axes in the marketplace a little bit. Now, once again, how dramatic is this gonna be? This all depends on how much demand there are for these items and how many axes we end up releasing. But considering this has been out two hours and we've released, what did I say, 23, 24,000? That's a good start. And I'm very excited to see what happens here. This is gonna last for a month from January 20th to February 20th. So you don't need to jump in here and do this right away. If you want to sell floor axes, I think the price is gonna go up. So if, you, if you're buying axes to dump them to try and get these items, you should do this as quickly as you can in my opinion. But if you guys are breeding or if you have axes to release, there's no rush. If you already have a bunch of extra axes that you're thinking about getting rid of, you don't have to get rid of them right away because you have 30 days. You only need to act fast really in my opinion if you wanna buy the cheap floor axes. This is gonna raise the price of these axes that we've all been using for energy, right? now. What else could this do? If there's enough demand for this, these items are so popular that people really want them, then we could also see an effect on SLP, right? Because if people are breeding for this, it's gonna increase the amount of burned SLP per minted SLP. Now, as you can see, the price of SLP immediately jumped and then came back down and it's sitting a little bit higher than it was, which is nice. I don't really expect, personally, I don't expect this to skyrocket the price of SLP. I don't really expect to see anything like that anytime soon, but I do think this could slow down the rate that SLP is declining, right? Because if we can close this gap, and this is a pretty big gap of how much is being minted and how much is being burnt, if we can close this gap, price drop of SLP should slow down and the price of SLP should decrease slower. Right? And now if these items are super popular, everyone wants them and tons of breeding gets done, then the price of SLP could come up a little bit, but I don't do price predictions on this channel. I'm just talking about merely from a supply and demand point of view, what could happen. Now, how do you price these items? What are these items worth is also something I wanna talk about. So let's look at that. Like I said, common items here at the bottom are gonna be worth the floor price of Axie because that's if you go and buy one of these and you get the items, no one wants to sell the items at a loss. So they're gonna price the items as their bottom price as what they paid here around $56, right? And the more rare ones obviously are gonna be worth a little bit more. And then you have a chance of getting 
getting into this draw, right? And the draw comes with these three prizes, third, second, and first. And now if we take a look at first prize, the AOC tokens are origin coins and they let you get an origin axie. Now, if we look at the origin axes here, you can see that they actually go for around seven grand. They give mystic and epic items, right? And the cheapest mystic land item right now is, is 2.79 Ethereum, which is even higher. That's almost nine US grand. The 10 second place prizes are worth a lot. And then if you look at like epic land items, then we're going down to like 0.21 Ethereum, which is still a good like 660 US dollars, which is a nice third place prize. And there's gonna be a hundred of these. So these are a little bonus you can potentially win if you get in this draw. And these are the items that you're guaranteed to get. You can't claim them right away. At the end of 30 days, you'll be able to claim the items here, but you can see the items you've won in the meantime. That's pretty much it. This is very simple, but I like what they're doing here. At least they're giving us a way so that the supply of axes doesn't keep increasing, 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 and the price of our axes keeps dropping. This should at least slow down the rate at which things are decreasing, and it's a good step in the right direction for the economy of Axie Infinity, in my opinion. What am I gonna do? I have a bunch of extra axes that I've been buying for energy for my scholars. So if the price of these floor axes keep increasing over the course of the next month, I'm gonna decide if I wanna sell some of the axes I bought for energy and make a profit, or if I wanna burn them for one of these items or for the chance of getting this draw for much more valuable items, right? I'm not decided yet. I'm not gonna go out and buy a bunch of floor axes just cause I don't think it's personally worth it, especially when the biggest prizes are coming from a raffle, but that's just my opinion. And I don't really know how bullish people are gonna be on these five items, but if they're super popular, this could have a big effect on the economy. We'll just have to wait and see. But the other exciting thing is this is going to be a reoccurring event. They're gonna change these items all the time and you're gonna be able to get new items and burn more axes next time. So this system of burning axes is not going away after this month. Maybe there will be a break, but the system of burning axes is gonna continue and that should really help the economy and it should take a little bit of the pressure off of SLP as I mentioned. So I'm gonna wait and see what happens. I'm not burning any axes right away. I'm gonna keep an eye and see if they're worth selling or worth burning, but that's up to all of you as well. So I'm excited to see where this goes. Anyways, that's super brief. This is just a quick update. I wanted to put it out there because this is really significant news and I wanted you all to be on top of it. Anyways, I'll have some more updates for breeding and that stuff later in the week. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all those great things.